All right, what's up, Merch University? It's day three, and we are going to do um, our episode three of our merch research. And so um, I'm going to stay in Pinterest and keep um, doing some research here because I have, I've I've been uh, doing some research um, today and like yesterday and just been finding a lot of ideas. And um, I think it's a good creative place to start. So let's go over here to Merch U Designs. And just go to the niches, and we're gonna these niches um, until we find one um, that we want to work on. So let's see here. Mm. Let's see. How about we do, uh, let's see here. How about dancing? Let's try dancing. All right, so let me go to Pinterest. Type in dancing. And um, let me just look through here. Let's just look through here right here. Look, there you go. Uh, dance all night, sleep all day. Uh, I don't know. That sounds like a song. I don't know if it is a song. You know what they all will have to check it. Uh, dance is music made visible. Okay. If you stumble, make it part of the dance. Don't ever forget that you love the dance. Over here, you can see that. Um, let's see right here. When in doubt, dance it out. That's a that could be a good idea. I think rhyming stuff together uh, makes for good shirts. So if you're a good rhymer, you good good poetry writer, uh, there you go. You could do some uh, poetry. It takes an athlete to dance, but an artist to be a dancer. Ooh, there you go. That's a good one. I do not try to dance better than anyone else. I only try to dance better than myself. Um, don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. Dance it out over there on the side right here. Dance it out. I dance. Um, there's no greater feeling in the world than moving to a piece of music and letting the rest of the world, what does that say? Can't really read it. Disappear. Huh. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, these are just great for um, ideas to go off of. I tend I tend to dance a lot in public. Um, the other day, I was shopping and dancing. The security guard decided he was going to dance with me. It made me smile like I had never smiled before. When no one remembers the dance, we'll all just look at each other like, what? "Oh my gosh, darling, don't ever be shy to dance your heart out." All of these, I mean, you can come up, there's so many ideas here already that we've seen that you could come up with your own um, dance shirt, you know, your own dance idea. Exercises to improve ballet technique outside of class. And then there you go. You can also do um, do these dance um, shirts with different um Belly dance, uh, jazz dance, ballet. I mean, so you can incorporate one of these phrases to, um, like you could say, uh, I mean, for example, darling, don't ever be shy to ballet dance your heart out. Or you could say, don't ever be shy to, um, to jazz dance your heart out. You know, you can scale it that way you know you can find all the dances that there is um you know any kind of dancers don't ever be shy to swing dance your heart out don't ever be shy to country dance your heart out you know um you can find ideas like that and then go off of it so don't ever think that you just and, and don't try to stay within just dance just the broad um niche that it is you know dig dig even deeper you know so what else can you um, say? Maybe you could do, let's see here. Maybe let's do, maybe we could do swing dance. Swing dance. I don't know. Let's just say swing dance. Maybe, maybe there's something we can look up here. Um, 
this one says do the Charleston. I don't know if that's uh maybe that's a specific dance to um to swing dancing, so maybe you could have something with Charleston in there with swing dancing, you know? So that's just an idea. Or here, swing out. There's a another thing you can put on there, like swing out, you know. Um, take more chances, dance more dances over here. Um, you know, maybe you could put more chances, um, you know, dance more swing dances, you know. Take more chances, dance more ballet dances. Um, you know, you get make sure you you look at you're looking at up all the trade trademarks and stuff. Um, oh, maybe Charleston's a movie, so maybe you don't want to do that. Okay, um, it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Actually, I think that's from a a song, an actual song, so I wouldn't use that. But you can come up with some um, phrases that have to do with swinging and have to do with actually find some phrases that have to do with dance and then just include swinging, swing dance in there. Let me just swing dance. Um, I don't know, quotes. Who needs swag when you got swing? Oh, there you go. That's kind of, uh, you know, that's kind of something that's not, I don't think, I don't know if it's trademarked. I'd have to check. Um, keep swing dance if you, if you don't mean anything. Got that swing. Uh, there are no shortcuts to happiness, and dancing is one of them. Um, so man, there are tons of ideas to just to get in here. One does not simply go swing dancing for a few hours. Um, so baby, can we dance? Swung over. I guess they're playing on the words of hungover for swung over. The mental and physical results of binge dancing, a blog of random swing thoughts and stories of Bobby White. Um, don't walk. How about don't? It says don't walk dance. So how about don't walk swing dance? You know, or don't walk ballet dance. Don't walk country dance. You know, something simple like that. So there are tons of things, tons of ideas here. That um, you can get if you um, want to dance. So um, there, there are lots of things. So um, let's just let's just keep going. All must dance. Um, you know, like I said, just keep. You know, keep putting putting them on what you want. Um, let me see what else here. I actually like this don't um walk swing dance. All right, let me see what else. Here, eat sleep dance. Oh, remember I said the eat sleep shirts, they sell really good. So eat sleep um dance, you know. Eat sleep swing dance. Um East Coast, West Coast, um I swing both ways. Um Jim, I'd rather be West Coast swing dancing. There you go there. Um, since I don't know a lot about swing dancing, that makes sense to go niche down by saying West Coast swing dancing. So you can add that. So find a phrase and then add West Coast swing dancing. Add East Coast swing dancing to it. So um, that kind of shows you how to go niche down even further. Dance even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. There you go. How about swing dance even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room? I'm just I'm just trying to – I keep saying that because I'm just trying to get that across to you that um, a lot of people stay on top of the surface and try to make these shirts that are very broad when really there are a lot of passionate people who dance – but there are a lot of passionate people who only country dance, you know? They don't swing dance. They don't ballet dance. They don't do anything. But if you have a shirt that is specific to country, like here in Oklahoma, there are like, there's like country dance places all over the place here. And so, um, and, you know, I, I there might be a, and actually there's a few like little kids, like ballet dances and jazz dance stuff places around here. But um, actually, there even in Oklahoma City there's some like ballroom dances places. But I definitely know there are many places for country dance. So think of, you know, 
the dances around in your area and you know places where you can go okay so that's um dancing let's let's pick another um niche over here let's go to um back to merchie designs and go back to niches over here and we'll find another one let's see here actually uh let me type in um i think yesterday we did the merch research and let, let's let me check that out real quick first let's see here all right, let's type in, um, we can type in dance. We'll see how, how um, you know, saturated it is for right now. And look, there's over 7,000 of just, if you just did plain dancing, you'd be competing with all those people. Okay, now what if you did swing dancing? Only 114 results. That is a great niche. Now, let's see if any of these shirts are selling. I mean, they're kind of high. There's 2 million, 5 million, um, you know, 4 million, 2 million, you know. There's not any low, there's not any, um, like, great sellers in here. So, uh, let's look at that one. That flop. Floss like a boss. That if you, if you don't know that fl the floss is like what all the little kids are doing now. So actually, that's a really popular one. Uh, so just for fun, let's put that in there. Floss, floss dance. If you haven't heard of floss dance, this is a really trendy thing going on here. Eight hundred and ninety-seven. So I mean, there's quite a few on there, but not too much. But look at these. They're 100,000, you know, 91,000, 80,000. I mean, these ranks are outrageously low. And so um, it looks like it's really saturated. But, I mean, if you could make a great design about flossing, <laughs> then you have a chance. If you don't know what flossing, the floss dance is, go to YouTube, do your research, look it up, see what what it is see what they're doing and um that's what you can do so that's just an idea something to go off of okay um what's another dance here uh, how about ballet how about jazz jazz dance only 177 176 so if you find like uh one of your jazz dance like we said like um don't what was that one that said uh don't walk jazz dance so you could throw that in here you know it um you know see if it's in here and you know make sure you know check for trademark and everything first but uh, if you want to throw a jazz shirt up you have a perfect chance to sell it because there's only 176 uh shirts up so i mean there's your chance to sell it okay let's go back and let's look for another one and i'm just kind of looking through here Need these picked out in mind. This is just um, looking at them. Oh, let's see here. How about this one? Um, geocaching here. Um, let me see here. All right. I think geo oh yeah geocaching is it's what it is is if you don't know it I what I think it is is uh people hide things in boxes whether they are um stamps or something and then you go find them it's like a treasure hunt and you go find them wherever they are in your city or in the country and you go look for them you find this box and I think either you put something in the box or you take something out that all has to do with like you know finding it so there you go uh, you can trade items things you would never put in a geocache and a few that you should okay um not who all who wonder a lot some are just geocaching uh, you know i might i might even be saying that wrong because i don't i've never done this before i think and it pretty much has to do with like adventure, you know. 
So maybe let's let's put in like quotes or something. Because we want to find, you know, people what people are saying about it. If you hide it, they will come. Um, I use million dollar satellites to find Tupperware in the woods. What's your hobby? And that's what it is, you know. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Geocaching. What happens when you tell nerds to go outside and play? Uh, you know, stuff was funny. That's kind of funny. Geocaching is highly addictive. The geocaches are calling. Let's go. Um, geocaching is cheaper than therapy. Not sure if I pull the geocache off that electrical box or cause the blackout. Um, I got a bit of a geocaching problem. Looking for cash in all the wrong places. I lost my car but found the geocache. Um, let's see here. Oh, look, here's a bunch of sayings we can just check out. Keep calm and carry a GPS. You are here. Find yourself. I found it. I'm not lost. I'm geocaching. You have reached your destination. Thanks, GPS. Show me the cache. Play with satellites. Um, thanks for the cache. Carpe cache them. Uh, not all who wonder. Cache a tactic. I'm not lost. Um, recalculating. Have coordinates will cash, got cash. I earth cash, therefore I am. Let the earth be your teacher. Cash, cash it on earth. I mean, so like there, there are all kinds of ideas you can look for for this. Let's let's look them up on um, merch research. So. Let's look up t-shirts here. 467. Um, some of the same ones that we saw here are the ones that are selling. And look, they have they have some awesome ranks too. 800, 200,000, 800, 800,000. Um, these are some great ranks. Um, I'm not lost. I'm looking for a GO. Geocache, what happens when nerds go outside? We saw that one. You know, maybe somebody got that from Pinterest. Maybe they looked it up and it was okay. Um, so, lamp post inspection team. I'm not lost. I'm looking for a geocache. So, you you guys are getting um, how to do this research, how to how to find these shirts that are selling, how to um, you know how to find these great ideas. So, your next step needs to be. How can you make these great ideas? Now, you can make them. You can use Make Merch. You can use uh, Merch Informer Designer. You can use apps. You can use the Vintage app. You can use the Over app. Um, you, can get, you can buy Photoshop. You can buy um, Illustrator. Um, you can make all these yourself. You, know, you can subscribe to um, different um, graphic design places to give you graphics. I mean, there are a lot of uh, places to go. Um, I keep telling people to watch the T-Shirt Academy on um, Merch Informer because um, I recently went through that academy. And then at the end, he teaches you how to hire a designer on Upwork. And so um, I've done that recently. And now I have a, a designer who's making all my designs. And actually, it's way better because I'm not a designer, but, you know, I can make some shirts on my my iPhone. You know, I can make some shirts on Make Merch or um, Merch Informer Designer. But um, to actually have a designer who knows what they're doing, um, it takes – it saves me a lot of time for all the designs that I've gotten from my designer. That has probably saved me 10 hours or more, and so um, – which might only – cost a designer you know a couple you know maybe 20 30 minutes to make a few designs so um that's one reason i hired a designer just it cuts out a lot of times and it saves more time for me to find the research and because before i would research and then make the design right away but you know i need to be constantly researching you can see it's only been 20 minutes and we've already covered two niches only only two niches only 
And so we haven't even made the the design yet. You know, we could go on. I could go on for, you know, the whole hour and maybe we could cover four or five niches. But then after that, we would have to design it. And after the design process, you know, maybe for one shirt, it takes us 30 minutes. So maybe for two shirts, it takes us an hour. So in two hours, we would cover five niches and make two designs. So, I mean, that you could see how the time would build up. But after, say you, say after um, a couple hours of uh, research, you, you found, you know, maybe you found 10 or 20 designs that you like or, you know, ideas. You can always send those ideas to your um, designer and then you can keep researching and then they could send you back designs, you know, or, you know, you can make your own designs, but either way. But uh, that's all I have going on for today. Um, make sure you go check out the Merch You Designs, um, the the niches. You, you know, you can go look over them. It's in the description. If you look in the description, it's the first one. I listed it on top um, of all the, the list of links that I have in my um, description. So this is the first one. So you can find all of these. And so um, come back tomorrow and we're going to go over some more. Um, niches and just find some more ideas and just do some more research. So I hope you're just enjoying these and getting something out of out of out of these because I'm getting a ton of out just um, teaching you guys how to research. I'm learning so much more by myself too. So I have some great ideas and I'm actually gonna make some uh, uh, dancing designs today. So just from doing this, so it's already works out for me too. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow on for episode four. I will talk to you later. Goodbye.